Welcome back to Latin Nation, and if you're joining us now, you're just in time for our session spotlight of the week. Now, our next act is one of those artists that's on the verge of stardom. And not too long ago, she was an out of work starving artist. You see what a small gap there is between starving and stardom? It's like this. Now, whatever you do, don't call Cat Dahlia a rapper because her musical influence and experience is so vast that her style can go from soulful to gritty from one bar of music to the next. And it was this versatile style that caught the attention of industry icon Sylvia Roan, who signed her to Epic Records and put out Cat's first record. More of which you'll find out right now on Latin Nation. Sessions is presented by McDonald's. You say you a gangster, that don't impress me none. You say you a gangster, ain't seen a thing you done. With dangerous curves and even more dangerous rhythms, Miami's own Cat Dahlia proves once and for all women belong in hip hop. Just don't call her a rapper, because her soulful vocals put her in a category all her own. I was so influenced by Celia Cruz, who's just so strong and striking. She has such an amazing, gripping voice. B.B. King, you know, Robert Plant. But obviously, as a young girl going out to the clubs, I'm listening to hip hop, I'm listening to reggae, I'm listening to reggaeton, I'm like, and the palette was always very open. Put the worries down, drop it like it's hot. Show me the money, 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 party, party, party. I don't know, I guess it was just the person that I am. I'm so open to different types of things. Just encourage it because I think we settle in and we don't ever take those risks and or put myself in a box. Even when people tell me, oh, so you're a rapper or are you a singer? I'm like, it doesn't even matter. Like, don't even put me in any kind of a classification. It just, it just, it just limits me. Yeah, I'm young, 21, living in a crazy world, but I know the difference between a man and a girl. When it comes to writing, I feel very free, and I'll just put out my point of view. Everybody has their own certain point of view, and I'm not afraid to write about it. I always like to make it interesting for people to listen to, so it's like, you know, you listen to it a couple times and you could nod your head to it. I know so many people listen to music, they don't even listen to the lyrics. But then on top of that, for the real music lovers, if you really listen, you're like, oh shit, this is kind of dope, you know? I got this bundle out called Gangsta. It has, a lot of people were like, oh, this is just a setup record, but it's taking off more than I guess what a lot of people had expected. And that feels good for me because that was something that I wrote a while back and it was very, very personal to me. Like I knew I wasn't just writing this for me, but I was writing this for so many people who are going through the same thing. And it's accomplishing exactly what it, what it's touching people. And it's giving people kind of like a sense of, hey, I'm not alone in this. Getting people's attention to kind of like look around themselves, look around the world and be like, hmm, you know, why are things so hard? Why is everybody working so hard, but nobody's happy? Little things like that, you know, I feel like, all right, there is a voice out there that essentially speaks on that. And I'm paying for this session, I'm paying for this session, and I'm paying rent, food, clothes, phone, Christmas presents. I think ultimately, it's something that we all challenge ourselves with every day, is staying true to yourself, knowing what is true, and kind of sticking with that, that and not letting anybody take away your peace. So the day that I do walk into a restaurant and everybody's looking my way, that'll definitely be trippy. It'll also be like a, a sense of accomplishment, right? To be recognized like that, but not to be taken lightly or to be used in kind of a selfish way, to be taken responsibly so that I fulfill my own happiness and my own sense of well-being. So you gangsters that don't impress me none.